We welcome you back inside the Hank Rice Center in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan for the women's gold medal game. That's all we have left, our gold medal games. We'll start with the women's. That'll be followed by the men's D gold, the men's C, and then the men's B. Right now we've got the Calgary Vipers to take on the Edmonton Cherry Pickers. And I think they're going to attempt, now that we're into the gold medal games, to play the national anthem. <laughs> they can get the system to work. Haven't been using it all tournament. Here we go. Calgary versus Edmonton. I could be cliched and say it's the Battle of Alberta. I will not. This is for the gold medal. Edmonton in the black with the red and white trim. The Vipers in the green and black. And we've got the Edmonton cherry pickers cheering section to our left again. They've been here for the last few games, family and friends. And we are underway in this gold medal game. Back behind the goal, Heather Burzens. Couldn't get it out. Out at center, Manti will dump it in. Burzins back to pick it up for Calgary. Burzins lifting it down the floor. It's going to go on goal. Pre Q, or Pro Q rather, will play it in goal for Edmonton. Laura Epp in goal for Calgary. And that's sent down the floor to bring the faceoff back down into the Calgary end. We were in Calgary about a, almost two months ago now for the men's and women's A and the men's masters. Thank the folks from Calgary for their hospitality while we were there. And the same for the folks here in Saskatoon. I don't want to forget, and I'm afraid I may do this later in the day. I want to thank Scott Parker, the maintenance manager here at this center, for all his help when I arrived on Wednesday to do the setup for these games and made sure we had our internet and our electricity and everything that we needed for webcasting the games for you this week. This makeshift broadcast booth here at center. Able to pull something together and bring you the games. And Scott was a great help, so thank you. Yeah. 
Ball in behind the Calgary goal. Newsland couldn't get it out. Kept in by Edmonton. Stevens. So it just kind of goes back and forth right now. Shot wide of the goal by Grant. That shot was blocked. It'll be kept in. Shostak didn't get much on that. Goes to the boards. Nicole LeBlanc. It gets by Shostak. Lineker up at center. Taken there by Samara Wong. Thompson for Calgary gets it into the corner. Ibrahim. That shot drifts wide by right. Bouncing ball swept away by Keller. Edmonton come away. Pass a little bit beyond the reach of Lee. Humphreys forced back into her own end. Then reverses it. Kept in. Manti. In for Keller. Turning was Fisterer. She couldn't get a shot away. That was number 22, LeBlanc. It was along the boards for Edmonton. Fisterer behind the goal. Calgary has it. Lamb. And it's cleared down the floor. As they say, not a whole lot in this one yet. Three minutes, 49 seconds in. Neither team able to get a good scoring chance through the first few minutes. <laughs> Cleared in front, taken away by Calgary. Off the boards, down the floor, racing after it, Kratko. She'll get their first for Edmonton. Calgary player went down, seems to be shaken up a little bit, but back up and Prokey will hold on to it. Amy Wright off the boards, clears it down. Krista Thompson has it for Calgary. Thompson got it over to Burzens. Calgary's in over the blue line. They're into the offensive zone. Backhand goes wide. LeBlanc. LeBlanc battling behind the goal. It comes out in front. Calgary couldn't catch up to it. Goes to the boards and down into the corner. Went right through the crease. Stevens will pick it up there for Edmonton. Kara Stevens up to center. That's played in. And that was very close to being at center. But they're saying it'll be a flooring call against Edmonton. A quiet opening five minutes of this women's gold medal game. Face-off won by Calgary. Partially fanning on the shot back at the point. It'll be picked off by Edmonton. Dumped in by Mueller. Mueller and Bayer go into the corner. 
Mueller's got it. Mueller with a backhand. That went off of Emily Gervais of Calgary over to the fireboards. Manti, one-timer. Again, blocked by Calgary. Manti trying to get free. She'll drop it back. Long shot in by Keller. Ball is down in the corner. Gervais and Mueller coming in to help out was Bayer. Kept in by Manta. Here's Mueller. She'll just dump it in and Edmonton will get a change. Grant in there looking for it for Edmonton. Grant behind the goal. Runnels couldn't catch up to it. Bayer lifts it down the floor. Proku comes out to play it. Long pass. Misses her teammate. No flooring. It won't get over the goal line. Good draw weight. Pushing and shoving along the boards. One player goes down. Ball comes out. And Calgary get it down the floor. Trying to catch up to it. They can't. Now Serena behind the goal. Pinned in against the boards. Edmonton come away. Ball goes up into the mesh and out of play. The faceoff will, I believe, stay in the Edmonton end. That's where it's going to be. To the left of Keeley. Pro-Q. LeBlanc couldn't get it at the point. Shot came in. That went wide. Players go crashing in behind the goal. The ball comes loose. Down the floor, the face off, back down into the Edmonton end. Seven forty five gone. This is the women's B gold medal game. Right, long shot in, directed into the corner. Pass back to the point, picked off. Keller. Over to Manti. That's picked off by Gervais, and she lost it. Here's Runnels. Runnels will backhand it in. Epp stays in the goal, writes on it first, gives it to Runnels. Haley Runnels. Watched by Gervais. Runnels back at the point. Manti across to Keller. Shot was blocked. Manti again. Down to Runnels. She likes to work off that half wall. That time she lost it. Gervais will bring it out. Well, that pass nowhere near their teammate. Runnels will backhand it in and head to the bench. Bayer. Off the boards, coming off the bench, picking it off. Was Kratko, and the shot comes in, and the first good scoring chance.
Cracko came racing in off the bench, got to that loose ball. Mueller was there, but kept out by Epp. Webb, shot goes over the top of the goal. Mueller pushed off the ball, stays with it. Mueller down in the corner. Heather Bergens is on her, ball goes behind the net. Humphreys rings it around the boards. Ball squirts out in front, diving to get it free was Emily Burzens. Kratko back in her own end. And that will be a flooring call against Edmonton. We passed a halfway point of this one. Still tied, 0-0. Diving, but on able to get it out was Edmonton, kept in by Krista Thompson of Calgary. Back to Burzens, Burzens with a shot well wide of the mark, bounces out in front as it came off the end boards, cleared out. Courtney Bayer. Pass up the middle, a good one. Now they gain the zone. Shot by Verbeek. Procue's got that. Keller getting away, two on one. Keller kept it, threw it into the crease. Epp is looking around, but it's under her pads. She's got it. She had a little peek. Roku comes out and plays it. Gets it up ahead. Stevens to right and she put it wide. Great opportunity there for the cherry pickers. Keller staying with it. Right again, her shot. Backhand, big save by Epp. She stuck out the right pad. Robbed Haley Runnels. Now things begin to open up a little bit. Ibrahim. She stopped as she gets in over the blue line and Runnels will bring it back out for Edmonton. Runnels getting around the outside of Thompson. Runnels, Thompson stays with her, knocks it off her stick into the corner. Runnels went down, Thompson's got the ball. Over to Bayer. Knocked down by Kratko. She can't move on it. Runnels backhands it in. Kratko to Noga. Noga dumps it down into the corner. Bayer's there first. Calgary can't get it out, it's kicked in by Edmonton. Noga going into the corner with Bayer.
four players in there. Noga gets it free for Grant, but from a very difficult angle, the ball ends up here along the near boards. Mueller, shot, one off of Krista Thompson. Still kept in by Edmonton. Mueller, Lineker, puts it towards the goal, played away by Epp. Bayer, down the floor. This will not be a flooring. Back to get it, Keller, long pass. Find Samira Wong, but she looked up. That pass was right on the mark, and Samira Wong just missed it. Good outlet pass again, missed though. Verbeek, shot one off Keller to the corner. Verbeek stays with it, goes in behind the goal. LeBlanc trying to get it out in front, she does. Backhand, that hit the side of the goal. Still loose. Small, small shot. Again off a leg in behind the goal. Keller. Verbeek is all over her. Shot down the floor. That'll bring about a face-off back in the Edmonton end again. Under five and a half to go. Still no score. Much like in the women's bronze game. Our first game of the day. That one ended. Neither team able to score in regulation time. Eventually, Saskatoon won it in overtime. So they take the bronze medal. The winner of this one will get the gold. The procure reaches up, grabs that out of the air. The loser will get the silver. Scramble faceoff comes back at the point held in by Calgary. Thompson puts it towards the goal. That just went a little wide. Back out towards the blue line. Again kept in by Calgary. That was Heather Burzens. And the ball bounces into Procu. She's got it and will hold on. Ball stays in play down in the corner. Edmonton's on it. Chance to move it out. Well, that was from their own side of center. They've been guilty of multiple flooring violations here. We've got 4.43 to, left to go here in the first. Time for a message from Napper. Long shot in by Thompson, steered away by Pro-Q. Edwards was on the rebound, put it right through the crease. Play right along the boards down below us, tough to see. It's played in, Edmonton with it. They'll clear it out. Burzens. Burzens, gets Stevens all over her. Stevens comes up with it.
As the intensity picks up a little bit. Stevens held against the boards by Burzens. Wright comes up with the ball. Back at the point, it's kept in. Lineker, shot kicked away by Epp. Runnels. Lineker tried the one-timer, she came in off the point. Grant, that hit a stick that was lying there. That was Burzen's stick. She had it knocked out of her hand a minute ago. Runnels trying to step around Thompson. Thompson stays with her. Back to her right, and that missed by about 15 feet. Keller, he'll step into one. That's on net, and Epp makes the save and holds on. Mandy with a shot, scores! Right from the face-off. The opening goal goes to Edmonton, the cherry pickers. Here it is, right from the face-off. You see Mandy, 71. She's in the trigger position. They get the face-off right to her. Perfectly executed. Great shot, one to nothing. Goal comes with about 3.12 to go here, or just to go here in the first period. Cleanly one draw. Proku, elects not to cover, tried to poke it away. Didn't get it very far. Now she's in a little bit of trouble, but teammates bail her out and clear it down the floor. That's gonna be enough for flooring, I believe. Yes, it is. Humphreys to Burzens. Pister almost intercepted that at center. Now Calgary will bring it in. Shot cleared away by Procu. Gervais lost it. Edmonton with it. Burzens. Quickly gets it up the floor. Shostak got it to Runnels. Runnels will clear it in. Humphreys gets it around to Ibrahim. Ibrahim will backhand it out. Three players crash in along the boards. And eventually Referee blows the whistle and we get a little bit of pushing and shoving, not a whole lot. Official gets in there and separates the women. Keller turning back. Stevens with room. Shot. Stopped by the defense and cleared. This time it's going to be a flooring call against Calgary. We've got a buck 23 left to go in the first period. One to nothing for the Edmonton Cherry Pickers. A goal by Colleen Manti.
Runnels back to Manti. Great pass into Keller. Then she had it knocked off her stick. Right circling the goal. Edmonton pressing here. Runnels with a shot. Hit some of the traffic in front. Amy Wright. Right. Into the slot. Manti. With a chance for a second one. Had her stick checked at the last second. And Calgary will send it down the floor. Played back in, Fisterer for Edmonton has it along the boards. Back at the point, tried to get it to Webb. Kratko knocked it down but couldn't hold it in. Gervais is on it for Calgary. In over the blue line, just onside. Gervais has it. Down into the corner now for Wiesland. She's knocked down but stays with it. Finally, it's taken away by Kratko. Fisterer takes the pass from Mueller. I was wondering why the whistle went. We've run out of time, lost track of the time clock. <laughs> One to nothing. Edmonton lead this game over Calgary. This is the women's B gold medal game for the national championship, the national women's B. We'll take a short five-minute break, and we'll be back with period number two of this game. And these are the Canadian Ball Hockey Association. Men's B, C, and D, and Women's B National Championships. And we are in sunny. It is beautiful and sunny out today. Sunny Saskatoon.
20 minutes of regulation left to be played in this women's B gold medal game. Right now, Edmonton leading Calgary by a score of one to nothing. Right across to Stevens, just a little bit too much on that. Stevens couldn't make contact. Bersons dumps it in and then she goes for a spill as she crosses the blue line. Stevens cutting into the middle. Stevens getting in there. Stevens with a shot. Scores! What a solo effort. A penalty was being called on the play. Well, that's not going to happen. Here's Stevens cutting in, and she beats the defense right there. Keeps going. There's the penalty. Flying, diving. Puts it in. Two to nothing. What a highlight goal by Kara Stevens. just outside the blue line. Now it's brought in a little bit further. LeBlanc lost it. Bayer for Calgary. That's kicked to an open wing. Calgary on it first. Ball rolls into Epp, she'll cover it up. Scoring hard to come by, a two goal lead. Large at this point. held against the boards. Nobody able to move it. Referee yelling at them to move it. They eventually do. And it's Humphreys. Just gets it out over the red line. Knocked down there by Lineker. Shot back in. Thompson to it first. Ibrahim had it knocked off her stick as she tried to cut into the middle. That comes Amy Wright working against Thompson. Ibrahim got it out to center. Taken there by Manti. To Keller. Keller, long shot, kicked away by Epp. Bank pass taken smartly there by Guzlan. Shot. Save is made by Proku and Keely Proku has got it. Well, that was a nice bank pass. One of the better scoring chances for Calgary in this game. Kratko, kept in by Thompson. Verbeek with it for Calgary. Tried to get it out in front, taken away by Kratko, and Kratko takes it and heads straight up the floor. Off the boards for Runnels, Runnels sends it in. They'll head to the bench, at least Kratko where Runnels stays out there. Stolen by Fisterer.
Burzens for Calgary off the boards. That gets out to center, but held in momentarily and then knocked away. Verbeek. Verbeek was all alone on that rush. Just plays behind the goal. Now she'll head to the bench. It'll be a flooring call against Edmonton. We'll come back down to our left. Calgary picking up the pace a little bit since giving up that second goal. That had little to no chance of success. Off the boards and down the floor it goes and, and we will come back to the left once again. Face off. Calgary jumped early. Burzens will come in to take it now against Mueller. Mueller wins it into the corner. It's lifted out only as far as center. Kept in by Small. Goes in deep again. Manti reverses it. Keller. Grant. Pass to Mueller. On goal, Epp will cover it up there. As I mentioned, next up we have a gold medal game in the men's D. The Edmonton Knowlton Nashers taking on the Vaughn Saints. There were, that's a flooring call, number of upsets yesterday in the men's semifinals. A lot of the top seeds going into the playoff round were eliminated. Vaughn Saints were fourth in the men's D, they knocked off the number one seed, New Brunswick Mooseheads. The game we had for you yesterday on our webcast. Playing behind the Calgary goal, finally comes up along the boards and Calgary with an opportunity to move it out. Right down below us, beyond the reach of our cameras, we are almost overhanging the arena here, the only location we could come up with, as I say, for our makeshift broadcast booth. It has served us well. That'll go into the Calgary bench. Epp clears it to the corner. Thompson on it first for Calgary. To Bayer. To 
Down the floor it goes, and things have slowed down considerably in the last couple of minutes. Calorie breakout for Beek. Long shot, easy save for Pro-Q. Uslan trying to get it to the front of the goal. She was stopped. Grant kept in at the blue line by Humphreys. I'm oh, sorry, at the red line. Floating blue line, you know what I mean. Wiesland turns, shoots it in. Shostak for Edmonton, forced to the corner. Fister couldn't get it out. Well, that was Amy Wright, 91, not 19. Penalty coming up to Calgary. Bronte Verbeek. Hooking. Edmonton on the power play, leading it two to nothing. Big moment if they can score here. There's a shot, Epp with a huge save. Runnels with it again, another shot. That goes behind the goal. Runnels again, scores! Denied the first time, not denied the second time. That was the first shot, and they get it off the boards. And you see Runnels there at the left, just waiting one time. Back of the goal, three to nothing. Timeout called by Calgary. They are now in a deep hole. As I mentioned, goal's tough to come by. They haven't had a lot of good scoring chance, and now they find themselves down by three. So as Calgary goes to the bench to take a timeout, we will be right back. Twelve twenty-one to go here in the women's B. Gold medal game, national championships in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Timeout is over. Edmonton didn't even bother to go to the bench. They know what they want to do. Calgary comes out now and we are set to go. That is not what Calgary wanted to do after a timeout. Just send it down the floor weekly. Backhand 
hit some players in front. Kept in by Manti and behind the goal, Thompson has it. Pinching in, Fisterer. Knocked down and Calgary will bring it out. Gervais. Gervais slipped and fell awkwardly. Hope she's okay. Seems to be she gets back up. Keller. Shot wide. Grant. To the near boards. Calgary on it first. Serena can't get free along the left boards. They all pile in there. And it is backhanded back in by Humphreys. Keller. Into the feet of Grant. She finds it and clears the zone. Mueller following up on it. Tried to get down in deep. That was picked off. Up at center, Krakko jumps on that. Runnels towards goal, right on goal. Epp makes the save. Sarah Small to Edwards. She lost it, it's still inside the zone. LeBlanc had to get rid of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's Stevens trying to break in again. She had a beautiful goal a few minutes ago. The second goal for Edmonton. Real solo effort. Play will continue. We're under 10 minutes to go. Wiesland, she's knocked down. Penalty is coming up. It will go against Edmonton. Laura Lineker will go to the penalty box once Edmonton touches it up. Here they do. Calgary will go to the power play, 9.33. Left to go in regulation time. It will go out of play. Burzens back at center. This is Heather Burzens. Shot saved by, made by Pro-Q. Calgary unable to get to the rebound. Goes behind the goal. Manti has it. Kept in by Burzens. She'll center it. No lane to shoot it. One off of Mueller who was right in front of her. Wiesland trying to come off the boards, back at the point. Another shot, save that time by Emily Burzens. We got the two Burzens back at the point, Heather and Emily. 17 and 27, but Pro-Q with another save. That's the other problem Calgary has. They haven't generated a lot of offense. And even if you do, you still got Keeley pro -Q to deal with. Edmonton, clear it. <laughs> Cl 
cleared by Edmonton. Gervais back to get it. Kratko knocked it down and sent it down the floor. Twenty seconds left in the power play for Calgary. Comes loose out in front. Scramble in front. Procue's got it between the pads. Time for a message from Napper. That will do it, power play is now over. One scoring chance for Calgary during their power play. And that goes into the penalty box area. Face off will be just outside the Calgary blue line. Falling behind the Calgary goal. Mueller trying to get it out in front. Comes to Grant. Thompson was on her. Mueller still working hard behind the goal. That came out right through the crease. Missed everybody. Goes to the far boards and it's cleared out. Serena getting in and just couldn't catch up to the ball. Beat the defender but the ball just got away from her and Procu comes out and makes the save. Or at least we'll just cover it up. Play will continue in the Calgary zone. Verbeek having trouble is always makes a funny bounce on along those boards. And unless you've been here all week like we have, you may not be aware of it. And you see a little ripple down there. It's just where you go from the high wall to the shorter wall. You come down along the the boards, and it'll hit there and sneak out. When it shot hard around there, it can come right out in the middle of the floor when you think it's going to go around the boards. Backhand doesn't get through. Back at the point, Kratko has stepped up. Their first, Shostak. ball went out of play but very close to too many players on the floor as Calgary were in the middle of a change Lamb holding it putting it into the middle a chance here for Calgary shot went wide Lamb Threw it in front, it's tip, Procu's got it, it's loose, they score!
Calgary gets on the board. Lamb did good work, comes back at the point. And there's a scramble in front. Somehow, somebody put it home. And Calgary, still alive. Let's see if they can make something happen here. The giveaway at the blue line. There's a shot kicked away by Epp. Played back in behind the goal. Sarah Small. Burzens. Proku comes out and plays it and clears it all the way down into the Calgary end. LeBlanc for Calgary. Around the boards, gets it up to Natasha Serena. Play continues. Verbeek. She stopped as she tried to play it up around the boards to try and get it out. It's kept in three and a half to go. Ibrahim. ProQ will leave it there for Kratko. Lineker gets it up along the boards to Grant. Pinching in is Thompson. Thompson trying to hold it in. Right fishing for it. Grant's got it. Right played it into the corner. Ball's out in front. There's a chance for Calgary. Big save by Proku. She got the left hand out. Knocked it down with the glove. Ibrahim. Over into the other corner. Out in front. Cleared away by Proku. Thompson. Calgary doing what they can to try and make this a one goal game. That hit somebody over at the Edmonton bench. Players go hard to the boards. They're free, let it all go. Manti hits it out, shot in, but that's from their own side of the center red line. Burzens didn't get it to center. Not what Calgary wanted there. Had a little bit of momentum going their way. Ball sits right in the circle there. They finally cleared behind the goal. Burzens. Straight up through the floor. Touched up. That'll be a high stick. That'll bring the face off down into the Edmonton end. Do we see Epp getting taken out of the goal yet? Down by two, minute 55 to go. Face off deep in Edmonton territory. No indication yet. They elect to leave Epp in the goal. Not sure why. 
Thompson down for Ibrahim. No indication of it moving at all. Goes down the floor, four and call. And I think finally they've called Laura Epp to the bench. 142. I have to ask, if you do it at 142, why don't you do it at 155? What's the difference? Anyway, I'm here, I'm not a coach. Mueller racing down after it. Riesling gets there first, backhands it along the boards. Up through the middle, that was tipped by Ibrahim. No, they're going to say it wasn't, or if it was, it was from her own side of the red line, so Epp will have to go back into the goal now. 1.14 left to go. delay as Epp needs to get an adjustment to her equipment. Now she's good to go. Calgary win the faceoff. Down into the corner it goes. Ball is held in there. Edmonton be content to hold that in there as long as they could. Comes out. Kratko gets it in. Not deep. Back comes Emily Gervais. Stopped up there and it's cleared out. Again, the net is empty for Calgary, but time is running out for the Vipers. Edmonton fans beginning to celebrate. That shot at the empty net just missed. Fifteen seconds. Cleared in. The Edmonton cherry pickers will be the National Women's B champions for 2021. They defeat the Calgary Vipers by a score of 3-1. to one. And the celebration is on down in the Edmonton end. We will continue with our webcast through the presentations because in addition to the medals, there will be some individual awards and, of course, the championship trophy. So we'll stay with this one for now. Elio Pescuzo, Vice President International for the CBHA will do the presentations.
Good afternoon, everybody. To everyone, thank you for attending the Women's B Gold Medal match. Let's have a round of applause for a great game by two teams, Calvary Vipers and Edmonton Cherry Pickers. At this time, we would like to present the players of the game for the gold medal game. The player of the game for the Calgary Vipers is number 26, Jamie Gooselake. And the player of the game for the Edmonton Cherry Pickers, number 81, Kelly Prokew. Our most valuable forward for the tournament from the Edmonton Cherry Pickers, number 91, Amy White. Championships from the Edmonton Cherry Pickers, number 81, Keely Brokew.
And now, we'd like to present and award the gold medals to our champions, our national champions for 2021 in the women's speed division. Ladies and gentlemen, the Edmonton Cherry Pickers. If I can have the coaches come on up and help present the medals to the players. Congratulations, ladies. Just want to jump in here for just a second as they hand out the gold medals to the Edmonton Cherry Picker. So good to see on the floor receiving her gold medal, Katrina Atchison. She was the player who was injured yesterday afternoon, was taken out of here on a stretcher for precautionary measures, taken to a nearby medical facility. And uh, obviously not playing today, but she's here in the arena has her jersey on and receives her gold medal as well. So good to see that she's up and about and is doing okay. And now I would ask the captain of the Edmonton Cherry Pickers to please come as we present the championship trophy emblematic of national championship supremacy in the 2021 National B. Come on up, come and get the trophy, don't be shy. And so as the Edmonton Cherry Pickers celebrate their national championship, it's time for us to take a quick break again. We'll come back. We've got the men's D gold medal game coming up next. Edmonton, Knowlton Nashers against the Vaughn Saints. That'll be up in about seven or eight minutes from now. So we'll be back with that. We invite you to come back and join us. <laughs> 